Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. You, if you're a, a follower to uh, to my Twitch or YouTube, you may be a little surprised as to as to why there's a stream going on on a Sunday morning. Well, it's a bit of an impromptu thing. I I'd been thinking for a little while that it might be nice on occasion to do a, a relaxed Sunday brunch kind of thing. Admittedly, this only kind of works within a few time zones at the particular time where it's uh, brunch for me and a bunch of other people. The rest of the world is a different time of day and they may not even have the con they may not even have the concept of brunch there. Uh, but we're we're gonna give it a go. So I was thinking we'd have a nice relaxed laid back stream, play a little bit of a puzzle game. Uh, today's game is the Incredible Machine. And um and just have a bit of a, a chatty time and drink and eat. At the moment I've got um, it's not a very luxurious brunch for me, I'm afraid. It's a uh, it's a shop bought vegan sausage roll, um, which I've heated up. It's, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. But I have gone to town with three drinks. I have uh, a coffee. I mean, I, I may make some people cringe. It is an instant coffee. Uh, I have some lemon water. Uh, that's that's a hot lemon water. And I have a pint of cold water. There you go. So I'll see how those go and work for my throat as, as we go along. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna kind of, kind of let it all hang out. So you may hear you may hear background noises, you may hear uh, people, cars, you may hear church bells. But it's all it's all cool. We're just gonna we're just gonna hang out for a bit and play a little bit of uh, well, let me get the right thing up of this the incredible machine. There we go. That should be showing up for you. Let me know how the sound levels are. Uh, but this being uh, a fairly informal and uh, impromptu stream, I haven't really tested the the sound levels out, um, but the they look comparatively all right. The I've def I've turned the, my sound all the way down because I was finding the, uh, the soundtrack to the Incredible Machine is a little enervating. So I'll turn it up a little bit so I can hear what's going on too, because that will be relevant. Um, we're just gonna, yeah, just gonna play a little bit of this. Um, I also need to peer quite closely because the <laughs> the window I'm playing from is quite small on my screen. Um, so let's get that where we are. Yeah. So if um, feel feel free to stop by uh, in chat and say hi if you're watching. Um, lovely to hear from you. Um, let me know what you're doing at this moment wherever you are. Um, apart from watching me, obviously. So obviously I'm eating and drinking. Um, uh, and yeah, we'll just have a little a little chat about you know, life, things that are going on. I was thinking of... Um, I was quite tempted to try and stream this on YouTube, through my YouTube channel, as an experiment. Because I'd only done live streaming on Twitch thus far. Um, but when I, when I went to set it up, I found out that YouTube makes you wait tw exactly 24 hours uh, after requesting the ability to live stream before you can live stream. So that was out, out for this time. Um, but it might be a thing for the future that I stream on YouTube, and the kind of the completionist in me would quite like to um, stream to both Twitch and YouTube simultaneously if we can get it work on a technical level, because. Um, I feel like that would be good. To, I mean, I've got um, potentially a bigger audience on YouTube, in, the, in that I've got more subscribers there than on than on Twitch. Um, but I don't know in practice if that would make a bigger audience. But it'd be a fun experiment. So yeah, we're we're looking at the incredible machine. Um, let's we talk about some of these credits. Designer Kevin Ryan, producer Jeff Tunnel, possibly Tunnel. Now I think about it, maybe it's Kevin Rianne. Uh, art director Brad Hahn, music director Chris Stevens or Stevens, artist Dennis Clevenger. Ah, oh, that's an amazing surname. It's like Cleve and Revenger at the same time. Uh, that's most certainly uh, Dennis Clevenger. Um, so as you can see, we're playing the even more incredible machine, which is an expanded uh, version of the, um, the incredible machine, the name of the original release. Um, it was published by Sierra. Um, this this version is copyrighted 92, 93. Oh, Lee Tester, uh, Gene Rubenstein. There you go. So that's the main credits there. 
Um, I'm hoping this will be quite intuitive to play. I haven't um, I haven't played it before. I got it as part of a um, a bundle on GOG uh, for I think three three different Incredible Machines games because these are the kinds of puzzles that I think I will enjoy. Um, I've got their uh, very poorly scanned low res. A uh, PDF of the manual if I need to refer to it, but I'm kind of hoping I can puzzle it out as I go along. Okay, so let's let's give it a go. Oh no, you know what? Let's see if there's anybody in chat to say hello to first. That's a kind thing to do, isn't it? So let's say hello to Alien Gathering and to Alto Alto. Um, you're you're very welcome. Uh, humans, what? Everyone is welcome here. Um, I assume uh, uh, YouTube prevented me from uh, streaming for 24 hours just to make sure I wasn't the bot. Which, I, I mean, I can see where they're coming from, but why discriminate, eh? Okay, so we're in the game. If I click, what happens? Okay, please select an order of the three parts listed on page six of the user's manual. Now, I'm assuming this is probably a cracked thing. If I got it on GOG, they usually are, these old DOS games. So I'm going to pick Balloon, Balloon, Balloon. Let's see what happens. Hey, it's working. So, okay. What am I looking at here? I think, what's the music doing in the background? I'll turn my volume up to see. There's a little. Okay, yeah, it's doing a very low key. Uh... It's quite a pumping soundtrack for a puzzle game, isn't it? Um, which I think uh, fits the era of the early 90s, uh, of early 90s games. But um, I don't know. I think I'd appreciate a more a more relaxed thing for today's uh, today's mood. Okay. So, how do I... Where is my mouse cursor? This is my first question. Okay, well if we can't get to the... If we can't work out where our mouse cursor is, we might be... Uh, we might be off to a bad start. Let's have a look at this. Uh... Okay, I'm looking at the control panel schematic. Um, you know what, page 6 is one we should have looked at for this anyway. So we should have put in the code, a rocket to dynamite hungry crocodile um, so it says uh, like the play button is play next puzzle and we can adjust gravity and air pressure if we're in freeform mode oh, okay so at the top is puzzle number puzzle name puzzle one tutorial put the ball in the hoop uh, puzzle goal make the basketball go through the hoop yeah um, what's this bar on the side with stuff in parts bin Okay, I think you might need to explicate that a bit more. Um, okay, and then the countdown at the bottom of the score is the total of all puzzles completed. Bonus one is how quickly a puzzle is solved. Bonus two is bonus based on difficulty. Interesting. So I think we just play? I'm not sure what the... So there's... The, Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's, hang on, there's more things here. So, uh, besides the beside the play button, there's volume control, which I think is just the volume control. If we look at the, uh, if we were to do anything with the bottom, it says clear current parts. Uh, the puzzle with a piece out is go to puzzle selection menu. Oh, okay. Um, and the spanner is freeform mode. Oh, and the red, the red button is quit playing. That's a, this is a weird interface, but I mean, I'm kind of into it. Let's just play a puzzle. That's what we're here to do, right? So, but I do need to have a mouse cursor up here, I believe, for this to function. So, where's? Oh, ah, here it is. Aha! Play. Great. Well, uh, can I click and drag things? Oh, I click and drag parts, okay. And then how do I set the machine off when I wanna 
Oh, okay. We draw a l oh, we draw a line for a belt. Oh, this writing is so tiny. And this is two, two, two. Oh, recycle. Okay, so I've got three belts, three hamster cages, wheels, and three ramps. I need to get the ball in the. Oh, so okay. So this bit here is the hoop, right? The ball's there. Can I just see what happens when I play? How do I start the machine? Okay. Oh, a bowling ball just drops down. Okay. How do I? S okay, it's reset stuff. Great. Let's try this. Can I? Can I extend? Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. And then if I were to start the machine that, not that ball. Interesting. Oh, I like these 2D physics. They're interesting. Okay. So can I link these two things together? Okay, how do I get my... Oh, I need to click. Okay, that's fine. So there's one belt. Can I go... Another belt from this to this. Let's try belt again. So if I just go click, click. Okay, that knows what I mean. But that doesn't seem to. Alright, what happens if I do that? Oh, so you need the hamster to drive the. Okay, you need a hamster for some kind of. Uh, motive force. So, um, can the hamster go anywhere? Does it have to go on a surface? Is that good? Can we can we hamster there? Can we put a belt from the hamster to the thing? From the, is that how that works? From there to there? To there? Oh, where'd my hamster go? Must have uh, recycled it by accident. Um, so, uh, okay. Well, now if I start the game, the game. Hang on. So the the hamster only started moving after it got hit on the head by a bowling ball. That's interesting. Uh, and this is the tutorial, blimey, okay. I mean, the the thing was, there was always <laughs> there was always a risk with um with playing a puzzle game on a Sunday morning. That I might I might be a bit foggy brained. But you know, I don't oh, I don't mind. I hope you don't mind either. Because we're just we're just having a Having a little fun time. Oh, so hang on, this suggests to me how do I restart the level? I don't know. Uh, I will, I guess, maybe I can't restart. Uh, but uh, I will um, get rid of some things. I will put this here, and then I will put this here. Is that? I think that will set things off straight. Oh, oh I might move that a little bit closer. There. Um, let's see what that does. Okay, well that it pings that off there, which is fine. So there's forward momentum there. Okay, thanks, everybody. Um, so I just need to get belts between these these ones, really, don't I? Oh, I might. I think I'm overcomplicating this, right? So. The 
sorry, didn't, I'm not don't want to put a hamster there. If I get rid of these bits. Uh, so I was thinking I probably need to use everything. I probably don't need to use everything. I just need to make this move. Because it'll go uh, left to right. And then have a ramp like here to get the ball to the... Yeah, that should do it. Oh no, because there needs... Okay, there needs to be something on top of the hamster. I didn't think of that thing. Well, in that case, what can I... Oh, okay, it's a little little more uh, sophisticated than that then. So that can go there, right? And then... That can go there. Is this gonna work? And then, so it's just you can't you can't uh, belt the machines together, but you can. Yeah, let's try that. That looks like that might work. Yeah, there we go. We got there. <laughs> Oh no, we have to write down passwords. It doesn't save our progress. That's a shame. And they're very long. Okay. Luckily I've got things here to write down with. Um, okay, ZZ15Z1. V, oh, the ones in the eyes look very similar. Uh, and that was a one, so ZZ1. Okay. Sierra. Okay. You know what? I might even be getting the hang of this. Do you want to advance to the next puzzle or replay your solution to this puzzle? I'll advance, please. Um, have a bit of coffee. Oh, this is cool. Ooh. Put both bowling balls into the metal baskets. To solve this puzzle, you must place and flip the mouse cage and then hook up the pulley belt to the conveyor belt. Oh. Why are you telling me the solution? Please don't tell me the solution. That's confusing. Okay. Let's uh, let's play it. Let's play it. Okay. I'm gonna, while we take this in, I'm going to munch on a little bit of sausage roll. Okay, so on reflection, do we not need to do on the right side exactly what is going on on the left side? Do we not need to put a little hamster engine there and hook that up to that uh, cog there and then put a basketball in there? Does that not do the thing? Oh, because it always goes to the right. Okay, so somehow we need to invert it. You can rotate, is that rotate or is that reposition this thing? Oh, okay, it's rotate. So that was, we flipped it horizontally. So that should do it. There you go. I feel like we're learning. Um, so this is dynamics 
Z Z one B E two M M M the year three thousand. Let's advance. I feel like our skills are growing with each new attempt. Okay. Must pop all the balloons. Fantastic. Okay, this introduces um, baseballs and bellows and scissors and. Should we just see what happens when we start the machine? Okay, that one pops itself. Okay, so uh, the bellows pushed the balloon. The uh, sorry, the baseball closed the bellows, and that propelled the balloon into the point of the scissors. And then we've got an engine there that's just just going round. Um, another ball there. So we can we can replicate that kind of scenario over there quite easily. I feel, um, but then I'm not quite sure what we're gonna. What does this? Let me see what the hamster does again. So it just goes around, but it, and it spins the the cog. Okay, we've got two bellows, so I feel like we're probably putting a bellows there and flipping it. We're putting a bellows there and flipping it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, and do the same kind of thing over here is what's happening over there and then oh yeah I think all I need to do really is um this ball will fall down due to gravity I sort of close that bellows and that'll push it into the cogs and hopefully the whirring of the cog is enough to pop a balloon yeah there you go I feel like I definitely needed the warm up of that first uh, that first puzzle there to to be getting into this. Okay. Ooh, my zeds look a bit like twos. That's not good. No, I think we're good. Okay. Let's advance. Oh, it's the semi semi yakety sax portion of the soundtrack, which is quite fun. Okay. Oh, I didn't read that. Always read the, uh, the the question. Um, what do I need to do? And how do I get back? How do I get back to the thing? What if I press escape? Ah, your goal is to make the bowling ball fall off the bottom of the screen, because the moment it will fall into that little catch there. Okay. Um, so that's gonna ping that. Oh, well, let's see what happens. I think that's gonna ping that over there that over there oh and we've just got loads of oh okay we just this is a uh, seesaw tutorial isn't it okay so there please and then uh, can't put it there yeah, I can't that's interesting Ooh. What if I put this here and then oh excuse me, put it there and then can I I can't flip it from there. Can I flip it from hold on, there we go. Ah, yeah, I feel like that might work. Okay. Um. Yeah, that should work great. There you go, physics! Physics in action! Ok, 
Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Let's advance. Well, this one looks good. Use the boxing gloves to punch the baseball up to the metal pipes. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so that's our end point. There's the baseball. Um, let's see what happens uh, when things left to themselves. Oh, okay, so that punch has passed that wall. And I've got seesaws and more gloves. Okay, and the gloves are triggered from behind. There's like a little push button there. Okay. Um, c uh, can one of these fit here? We can. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens with that. I'm not sure if that will go the right direction. Oh, it does. Fab, we need another glove there then, don't we? Okay, that answers my question. So let's uh, flip the glove. Do that there, as per the uh, example. This is, I'm finding this pretty good at tutorialising itself. Um, and I like learning and experimenting through play. I think that is, that is a good thing. Um, I feel like we need to have another seesaw here. Um, that that seems seems right. Seems what that space was made for. Um, you know what? We've got another one, so let's let's put one there to punch this up the ramp. I think that should do it. Let's see. Hey. There you go. Okay, so password is shuttle ZZ four three C six L one Q. We're cracking through them. Right, make Mort the mouse run in his cage by hitting the cage with the basketball. Poor old Mort. Well, let's be. Let's be having a look at this one. I uh, will pause briefly for more refreshment. So, friends, are we thinking this thing here is a trampoline and not a pasting table? I think it might be a trampoline, in which case we probably need to make a uh, ladder of trampolines. So let's see, I think. Yeah. Well, that looks evenly spaced. Let's see if that works. It's not quite. Okay. There's uh, a little bit of trial and error in here. Uh oh. There, please. Is that quick spacing? Not. Oh. Oh, it went backwards. Well, that was interesting physics. Okay. So they need to be actually quite close together, so I'm not sure how they get. Do the bouncers get bigger? 
they might get bigger, might they? Successive bounces. Well, let's find out. Oh, not quite. Interesting. Okay, uh, so this one needs to be a touch closer. I guess this one needs to be about here. They're kind of getting a bit bigger, aren't they? Interesting. Um, Hmm, but it doesn't get far enough to get to what the mouse. Intriguing. What if we put them? It, I might need to get to the underside of more the mouse. Um, is something I'm thinking. So we could probably do that if we can space them out a little more. This um, <laughs> this track's a little soporific, isn't it? It still doesn't get you very far, does it? All right. Let's see if this uh, bounces at least. Nope. I don't know how we're supposed to get far enough with these trampolines, you know. Oh, the bouncers are big. Oh, okay, so somehow that does it. So if you if they're in small increments, then that's, that's how this works. So that should catch the last one, which hopefully is then high enough to, with enough momentum to yeah, knock on more. Okay, that was a little hard to predict, I think. But um, we got there through trial and error. Fair enough. Okay, that's that code written now. Advance. Make the jack-in-the-box break the fish bowl of Bob the fish. And I like that we're getting characters and some kind of light jazz. Okay, let's see what happens. The hamster, oh, hamster rolls and the jack-in-the-box does that. Okay. Uh... Hey, what did I have to do to bot the fish? I've completely forgotten. I've made the jack in the box break the fish bowl. Oh, so the jack in the box has to be the one to break the fish bowl. But how would it do that, friends? Um, oh, those are all jack in the boxes, right? And you can wind them up to a. Uh, That's interesting. Well, I feel like this is the jack in the box that will break. Uh, just let you know about. Let's get one of these. So like, if we gear that up to that, and then gear that up to that, it'll probably do it. Because that will set that one off. And then that'll... Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't quite get my directory right. About there? So that should set that hamster off. And then... There we go. Bob! What, what did Bob ever do to us? Poor old Bob. Cool, okay. Um, 
I I would like to advance, please. Uh, all you need to do is pop the balloon. Note that you must flip the windmill to select which direction it turns. Ah, oh, thanks, that's helpful. Alright, let's set this one playing. And have another little munchy break. I must admit, while I was um, finishing off my sausage roll, I um, wasn't paying any attention to what this puzzle is. Um, so, let's see. I think uh, the gear... Does the blue not pop itself? Does the blue not rise? And go to the gears? Hmm, but nothing's turning the gears? Uh, but hang on. So a bellows would blow a windmill around, right? It propel that and propel the gears. I'm not sure why we need more than one windmill. I'm not sure we need more than one windmill. So we probably need a windmill there actually. Um geared up to that. See what that does. Oh, okay, so it needs that needs to go the other way, that baseball up here. So let's flip that. And then that'll go down here. But is that good? Could be good. Because that could also turn a windmill, right? No. Uh, what if I go? Oh, you know what? So it could, it could pump a bell out, though, couldn't it? Now, can we do the belt? Are we close enough? Yeah, there's a maximum belt length. Um, all right, let's see if everything goes the way it's supposed to. Oh. That didn't quite go as planned. Uh, is that not, does that ball not have enough weight? Is it like a tennis ball, or? No, probably not. Well, that's confusing. So... Could we use one of the other balls that's already there? Not sure how. Because we can't, we can't get rid of the things that are, the infrastructure that's already there. I don't think, can we? Hmm. So if I put that right there. Does does that still work? Or is that just definitely too? Ah, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I'll take it. But I wasn't expecting that to work because the um, the wind was uh, quite far from the windmill and the the cog, but yeah, let's let's do it. Okay, write down that password. Lovely. Cool. We'll advance, please. 
We'll move on to drink number two. Yeah, drink number two, lemon water. Uh, your goal is to lower all three buckets. To do this, you must cut both ropes with the scissors. Ooh. See what happens. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I've got a trampoline and more scissors and a heavy ball. If I put a tramp there, does that? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, if I put a tramp there, does that? Oh, well, there you go. That's one one part of the solution. And the other one is probably. Uh, That, I imagine. There you go. There we go. Some are deceptively easy and some are deceptively uh, challenging. I guess it depends uh, what directions your brain is going in at the time. Yeah. Alright, let's... Uh, Queue up the next one. You must shoot all three guns. Okay, we're getting into light artillery now, are we? There you go. It's all the all the fun of the fair, isn't it? Let's um. Yeah, let me check in with you, chat. How is how is everybody doing? Who's watching? Um, what is your what does your Sunday hold? If it, yeah, uh, it might be a uh, very early Sunday for you. It might be very late Sunday for you, possibly. What are you going to be doing today? I think I've got a little bit of sewing I need to do, a little bit of washing. I probably need to do a bit of tidying, but um, that's not a high priority. I um, really want to do some writing, a little bit of reading. Um, I really like to watch a film today, so I'm going to try and fit all those things in as well. I've been um, thinking more about um, uh, tabletop RPGs lately and uh, kind of different kinds of mechanics and what, what I might want out of a, an RPG. Um, thinking about solo RPG uh, systems as well. I've kind of got a few ideas related to those, so I'm going to tinker a bit more with those, I think, as they're on my mind at the moment. So rope, rope is a new thing that we're... Uh, oh, is it just a pile of rope? How do we... I feel like we can... Oh, okay, we have to start at a gun and then go to somewhere else. Like a bucket. Okay. Um, okay, and we need, we need all three guns to fire. And we've got three... So we need to place the third one, that's what I mean. Uh, well, let me pop that back in the equipment. Let's see what happens. So this will set that one off. Ah, but there's a uh, seesaw here that isn't doing anything currently. I say isn't doing anything. It um, how interesting. And what happens to that little platform that's held up by the blue? Nothing. But the interesting, the rope does drop. Um. Well, this is an odd setup, isn't it? Well, the only thing that I could put on a... I'm not sure I can even put it on. Let's see what happens to that. Oh! Oh, so the buckets will slide and fall with gravity. Okay, well, that's good to know. So I'm thinking... A bucket is probably what we're tying... This to, right? Um... But to what end? Not really sure. I mean, there is another thing there. I wonder if I could, um, if I, can I go from here to here to here? 
You can. Oh, and then onto somewhere. Well, that's pretty exciting. Oh! Oh, you've got quite a lot of options then for tying string. That's really interesting. Uh, hmm. So. Oh, oh can, hang on, can you go back again? No. Ooh, can I, but I can't start off one of those. But I could start off at there? Does that do it? Oh, yeah it does. But how would I get the other one to, to fire as well? Um, if I flip that around and then go there, does that give enough force to, no, not really, um, if I, uh, Just pop it there with a no. Okay. I'm not sure about this last one. There you go. Let's have these pistols shoot each other. What if I flip this? Flip this one. Does that help? No. Can I have two? Can I just have two lines go to the same part of the seesaw? Is that permissible? No. Um. I feel like there's there's an intention here, isn't there? But what that is, I'm not sure. Can I tie the bucket to that hat? No. Um. If I go through here. To here, but I don't really have a. Could I then get it to there? I don't know if that works. Oh, hang on. If I maybe overthinking it. If I just put that there, so it will drop. Oh, it doesn't affect the. I thought I might bump the rope and tighten it that way. Okay, it doesn't do that. It doesn't interact with those objects. Um, can it be hung on a? I don't think it can be hung on anything, can it? Oh, it's just sort of quivering with nervous energy there. It's interesting. Um, there you go, let's see what happens. Bucket inside a bucket. Well, that was interesting. What if we put one on the top of here? Top of here. Let's see what happens. Oh, so that. Okay. What if we put it at this end? Not a lot. Oh. I'm, I'm finding myself a little bit stumped with this one. If anybody has any has any helpful hints I'd very much appreciate them. Um, so the, let's take it step by step, so the bowling ball, um, punching, 
boxing glove, that's the word for this thing, boxing glove, bucket system, that's kind of already set and will, will happen anyway. Um, so, okay. so that's an easy way to do this one, but I wonder if it's not the primary way to do that one? What if, so what if the bucket is here and has, there's a string from here to here to here, what does that do? Not a lot. Interesting. So, uh, but it could be like down here. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't seem to do anything, does it? Um, so if a, bu if a bucket falls on a gun, nothing happens. Okay. Um, the balloon bursting, is that something I can use? Is that a useful thing? Let's move that to there. That presumably doesn't do anything. No, that's fine. Um, does it work against you there as well? Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, that doesn't really help out my bucket gun situation. My imagination is not quite quite easy on what this could be. I don't think. Okay, that that still gets that one if it's like that. But do, is there any benefit to that situation? I wonder. Well, this is a bit of a slumber, isn't it? And I do need to make a short uh, trip to, to the bathroom. So I will leave you looking at this delightful conundrum. Um, tell you what, let me clear it up so that you can see what it looks like in its original state. Uh, just like that, I believe. Um, I'll be right back. Um, let me know if you have any ideas because I'd, I'd really appreciate the help.
Okay, so I'm hoping, now I've looked away from it and I've come back with fresh eyes, that a solution will present itself. I'm thinking that maybe, uh, I'm getting the right window for a start, I'm thinking that maybe um, all of this, this system here, some of this is probably just a distraction. Um, the, only, the only kind of motive force that we get out of any of this is the movement of the seesaw. So I'm wondering... And if that goes through there, does that pull a trigger? No. No, because it would loosen the string of anything. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, uh, yeah, so I wonder if there's just a clever thing we can do with, with these. Can I uh, go from there to there to there? No, it's like that. Physics don't like that. Uh, no. Um. Could this go to here and to here and then to no? Okay, if it's those are endpoints. Okay. But can, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh no, do you do put the put the rope down? Honestly, uh, can I untie or retie or? Let's get this other other gun out here. So we go from here to here to here to here. Does it end ends it there? Okay. And what's the bucket all about? That's what I'm I'm wondering. What is this bucket all about? Because I can't I can tie the rope to the bucket, but I can't to tie the bucket to the rope, if you know what I mean. Oh, well, that pulls down. Well, that would. I could hold on. This might be the germ of an idea. I can pull the bucket with the. Potentially pull the bucket with the rope. Okay. So if I were doing just that thing there, because that works. Um, and then if I had. the bucket in space. Where do I put it? See what happens here. Hmm, not a lot. Oh, I'm sorry I had to leave you with this very short loop of circusy music uh, <laughs> while I went to the loo. Um, starting to uh, appreciate that may, may not have been the, uh, the best idea. Or we've been playing it so long that we, that we can't possibly get any time bonus from this, which is fair enough, you know? Um, so, what am I thinking? I'm trying to work out a way where I could parlay this um, 
this long struggle with a puzzle into some kind of discourse on the nature of seesaws or boxing gloves or uh, bowling balls and balloons. Uh, but I, I don't think I don't think that's going to work. I don't think I can turn that into a bit. Um, and what are, what are these for? So, I would put this. Uh, does that do do for that one? It does do for that one. Okay. I definitely can't do. No. But what if I were to do this to this? Oh, okay. Uh, that wasn't what I was trying to do. Oh, hang on. I think I might have failed to appreciate this, the potential simplicity of this. Buckets go down, right? <laughs> Buckets go down. Okay, it definitely was worth taking that break there. I think that helped. Uh, Amazing. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, I think we should try another one and see if we can um, uh, be a little bit more uh, prompt with this one. Yeah, so th this is more the low key kind of soundtrack I was hoping for with my, um, my Sunday brunch. Uh, uh, puzzle game. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah. Okay. Our goal is to turn on all the fans. You must flip the light switch to provide power to the electric plug. The initial state of all plugs is off. I think that's a wise, a wise state of affairs, to be honest. So the fat. Oh. So the fan needs a. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Have I understood what's happening here? So do we need things to push up the switches if they're off? Because these balls are dropping. We've got trampolines and fans. And I had to turn on all the fans. Okay. Um, so does the does the fan just need to be adjacent to the the socket part or oh yeah on the graphic changes when that gets close yeah it's like it's plugged in okay when it's close enough it's plugged in gotcha you can plug two things into the same Oh, socket. Interesting. So I need I need don't need to get all three sockets to um to be switched on for that to work actually. So that's interesting. Don't know what the balloons do, that might be a, a red uh rubbery herring. Um I don't know how we turn switches. Oh that one is on. That is odd. I think is it stiff? Yeah. So hang on. If I put a fan there, then that's that's just going to be. Uh, I guess we can blow the balloon, can't we? Oh no! Oh, so down is on. Oh no! It's, it's okay. So it's not universal positions. It's relative. They're all off to start with, but. Um, so you, you need to invert the switch, whichever way it is. Okay, that makes sense. So that one turns on automatically. This one needs something to go up and turn it on. Uh, like that, probably. Oh, that's all we've got. Let's, let's see what happens. 
Oh, that's quite fun, it just keeps going. Well, so, so the only problem is, I was thinking we could just move that fan over there, um, but we can't because that's the starting one, so we are stuck with the original position of that one. So, let's... Blow a balloon? I, f I feel like the... Yeah, I feel like the tutorial levels were helpful, right? But I'm not sure. Can, the, can that bounce? We can, quite far, in fact. Delightful. Uh, so I don't. I don't think that's going to help. I think this. If you put it right there. You can't really angle those ones, can you? Oh. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! Hang on. I think you can angle those ones, right? What if we do this? So that would, if we did that, that goes over to where this is. So that's interesting, but unfortunately it's down and not up, so we need to change something there. Like this. So we're ignoring this one, and we're just seeing what this does. Oh, okay, so I think what happened is that the, the baseball turned on those two fans and before that could go over there switch everything off we blew the balloon up to flip that switch oh yeah that was a nice solution i like that one I'm writing down this password um, there we go lovely all righty it might be good. Maybe we'll, we'll look at one more. That might be that might be it for our, our Sunday brunch time for today. I think. So in this challenge, we need to make the tennis ball fall down into the pipe hole. Generators will take turning motion and provide electricity. The electric motor must be plugged in to run. Well, that sounds uh, complex. Um. Okay, so we've got hamster power. We've got electric fan so that will get turned on straight away and be blowing things we've got a windmill and that's oh I'm not quite sure what the difference is between these things oh there's one there uh, should we just see what happens when we turn things on okay so the only useful thing oh this is okay So we've got a windmill, that is probably going to be affected by that fan? Probably. Can I get... no, it's a bit too far away maybe? Can I go from there to there? Yeah. So that's probably going to affect that. No, it doesn't. Okay. Does that affect it? No. Interesting. Oh, but hang on. So there's... Windmill, yes. This looks like it's got a little cocky thing on, so it needs that needs. Uh, okay, so that will power that one. But then, oh, so that gi oh, okay, all right. So that gives us electricity. That's a generator for electricity. So we can plug a fan in, uh, fan in to do something. Um, and then. So this is the one I don't know what it does, but I'm thinking maybe it might be related to this particular puzzle. Let's try. Okay, I don't know what all that's all about. Um, so I'll put that there and then change 
object in this? Does that... No. Okay. Hmm. It's hard to know what a thing does, isn't it? Oh, so is... Hang on, is this... Oh, we've another one of these. Why have we already taken another one of those? I wonder. Hmm. Can I just like pop something on top of here and get that? Get that running. Oh, is this a, a purely an electric mouse? Is that... Okay. A bit confused. Let's have a look at the instructions again. Make the tennis ball fall down into the pipe hole. Generators will take turning motion for electricity. The electric motor must be plugged in to run. Okay. So, is this the electric motor? Oh, it is. Oh, I see. So what we can do is plug this in and then have a belt from... Okay, so we're, we're transferring this turning energy. I have, I have it, I have it. Um, uh, I understand. I think I understand. There, like that. So, um, this turns the switch on. Uh, wind power turns these windmill blades that turns the uh, the generator which provides power for this motor which turns this wheel which sends this ball over here to where this mouse is hopefully um, sets them off and they generate power for this uh, motor um, generator which powers this fan which blows that ball into there okay let's see if it works <laughs> no Okay, now let's try it. Yes! We had the right idea, the wrong direction. Oh, lovely. Alright, let's go write down fish. ZZB66GQG4. Brilliant. Yeah, let's, let's leave it there, I think, for today. Thank you very much for joining me for this impromptu Sunday brunch kind of stream idea. I um I really enjoyed it. It was very relaxing. Um, I do have a question for you though. Um, I, I, I think my understanding of brunch may be incomplete because to me it kind of feels like brunch should be a meal in between a breakfast and a lunch. But is, is brunch actually supposed to be a meal that replaces both breakfast and lunch? And, furthermore, if brunch is your first meal of the day, is it not a de facto breakfast? That's that's the big one, isn't it? What do you think? Hmm. Well, perhaps that's something to leave you with until our next um, our next brunch stream. Um, I um, my main stream has been an evening one, uh, evening for um, UK time uh, of. Uh, a video game called Portal, not the not the most famous one, uh, but a uh, a computer novel. So it's kind of interactive fiction, but the interaction is is very limited. Um, it's really interesting. It's really interesting how it's innovating on the idea of a novel, uh, a novel's presentation. Really, um, it's going on a bit longer than I thought. I think we've up to five five streams of about two hours each, um, and I thought it might be uh, might be a couple of stream game. So I'll be returning to that sometime soon. So follow the follow the channel um, here on Twitch if you'd like to know 
when I go live for that. It's probably going to be about a week and a half's time, I reckon, for the next one of those. Um, and I really enjoyed this Sunday stream, um, just relaxing and doing some puzzles. So I think I'll, I'll be coming back to that quite soon. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And in the meantime, if you'd like to find any more of the uh, gameplay videos that I've I've made, then head over to Cat Sequences on YouTube. The link is in uh, the description, my my bio description for Twitch. Um, you can find things there, and I um, I post regular updates, uh, all as public posts on my Patreon as well. So you're welcome to have a look over there. Okay, thank you for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your Sundays, however much or however little is left. Um, and until we next meet, take care. Bye-bye.